Hi, I'm John Landis sometimes, and you're here at Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to look at mad, 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 mad world, uh, the epic comedy by Stanley Kramer, someone not known for his comedies. <laughs> um, this is actually a bizarro movie. It could never be made now, ever, because you just couldn't get that kind of talent together. But it's seminal for most of us who are middle-aged. <laughs> it's a great film. I saw it originally at the Cinerama Dome. Um, take a look. This is a movie starring everyone from Jimmy Durante to Phil Silvers to Buster Keaton and Ethel Merman. It's wild. In my opinion... Mad, 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 mad world. Stanley Kramer's epic... Uh, it's quite something. It's For us kids, it was, as Joe Dante said, comedy nirvana. It's not great. <laughs> but look at that. Paul Ford, Carl Reiner, Jonathan Winters, who Arnold Stang, Stanley Myron. Who's that guy? Stanley Myron. What's his name? Handelman. This, uh, this movie, Phil Silvers, to put this kind of cast together, to get Sid Caesar, Dick Sean, and... Uh, Ooh, Ethel Merman, Terry Thomas. Look at this. Eddie Rochester Anderson in Lincoln's lap. Now that's tasteless. Joey Brown. It's, it's impossible. There is not the talent these days to try to assemble this cast. In terms of vaudeville, Broadway, Hollywood, radio, it's a cast that he is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. It's not a good movie, but it's got great stuff. Jimmy Durante kicks the bucket at the very beginning. Here he goes. Show us, Jimmy. Kick the bucket. There you go. Buddy Hackett and Mickey Rooney are part of this group of people. Dorothy Provine, Sid Caesar, Ethel Merman, who learn that there's a treasure under the big W. So they all go on the mad, mad chase. The stunts in this picture are something. The flying, especially by the famous Frank Tallman, is quite remarkable. They do things that uh, you do CG now. Um... I don't know how to describe this. It's a weird movie, Jack Benny. Actually, the funniest thing in this is, is about branding. <laughs> because the two funniest moments, one is you just cut to the Three Stooges. They don't do anything. But because it's the Three Stooges, you get a laugh. The other is uh, Spencer Tracy throws his hat in his office, and it lands in... Look at that stunt. Lands in the street. Here he is, Frank Tallman. This is all real. Quite something. Um, he throws his hat, lands in the street, Look at this. Double for Paul Ford. Off he goes. Dick Sean. When you see the hat land in the street for no reason, Jerry Lewis, driving a convertible, runs it over. He's on screen maybe seven, eight seconds. It's hysterical. This is the famous and bizarre ending that is Willis O'Brien's last work, the stop motion on that uh, ladder there. This is a, a movie you got to see. Read these names. Just to see this extraordinary group of people together is quite something. Peter Falk. I mean, it's, it's everybody. This is the kitchen sink movie. It's not that funny, but there are brilliant things in it. Andy Devine, Bill Demarest, Paul Ford, Sterling Holloway, Edward Everett Horton. That was it. That, you know what? Marvin Kaplan. I gave you the wrong name before. Buster Keaton, Don Knotts, Zazu Pitts, Carl Reiner, and a few surprises. Um, in alphabetical order, Jimmy Durante. This is a one-of-a-kind film and worth seeing. Lots of pyrotechnics in the basement with Sid.